in addition to copying and pasting, you can also scroll inside of here, unlike previous calculators. You can just click the up arrow, keep going up between answer and your entry. But say you need to go all the way back to the top. If you hit yellow in the up arrow, see how there's a fast yellow there, like you're fast forwarding? It scrolls all the way to the top. And then I can continue down. Let's say I wanted to use this answer. See how it's highlighted? All you have to do is click enter, and it inputs it where your cursor was last in here. And you can just use backspace to get rid of it, or if I want to clear it out entirely, hit clear. So when I go back up, it starts me back at the bottom. Now that's one pain in the butt part. Let's say I wanted to use this entry. All I need to do is hit enter, and it gives it to me exactly as it is there. And then I continue to copy and paste from there. If you go up again, you can scroll up, but you can also do it down. So it can scrolls back to the bottom. And eventually, when you start using this calculator, you can have 90 entries or more inside of here. And you can just click the home button. Well, actually, escape. And it'll take you back to the bottom because we're already on the home screen. One thing it doesn't mention in the book is if you hit the yellow button and then this key right here, it'll allow you to type how many entries it wants to save. Right now we save 30 even though we're only using 5. If you hit the right arrow, you can change it from 30 all the way from 10 to 99. So hit enter and then hit enter again to save. So now all your entries, you can do that and it'll do it up to 99 times and that shows you there. Right now you have 12 entries of 99. You just keep hitting the back arrow and it'll delete all of them. Or what you can do is if you hit second home button, which is the custom menu, as F7 under tools, you hit second and there's your F7 on F2. It'll say clear home. If you just hit one and then enter, if you had anything previously in here, it would actually clear the home. So what I'm going to do is just copy this. Actually, I'm actually going to cut it. I'm going to put it in a bunch of fives. Now I'm going to paste my function and hit enter. It clears everything previously. I'm going to put in a few more numbers. And I can actually type in clear home instead of going to F7 if you just remember the function. If you hit second alpha, that'll alpha lock. And I can type in clear home. A little difficult because it's not like a keyboard. And enter, and it actually recognizes that it's clear, and it clears everything before it. That works for all the functions on here. If you have any function in, in the calculator and you know what it is, you can just literally type it in as the calculator sees it, and it will recognize it as a function. Show a few examples. I'm just going to clear everything here. And we're going to get into the algebra. Now, I, this is the customs menu, and I want to go back. You just hit second custom, and you're back to the regular menu.